Hi dear friends, welcome to Top Education. In this session, we will know the first chapter of QABD, that is Introduction to Statistics. So let's begin with it. So guys, first we'll learn what is statistics. It is a word derived from Latin word status and Italian word statist, which means political status of economy. Now guys, what a statistics means? It is the collection of data and information which is presented in which manner? It is presented in a good manner to know what are the details. So we, we can quickly know what is going on the, like uh, we can know about our India, how much population is increasing directly so this is known as statistics in simple way now what is statistics here we have few uh, names like what is statistics so have a look statistics is figures and two fact fact and figures fact what are the facts figures in numbers tools and analysis data tools means the data which we have in our hand and analysis data, we are analyzing the data. Collection, analysis, interpretation and presentation of data. Collecting and analyzing and interpreting and presentation of data. See guys, in accounts only we can say, what is accounting? It is an account, accounting is an art of recording, summarizing, interpreting, measuring. So here the what we say statistics. What is statistics means collection, analysis, interpretation and presentation of data. So this is known as statistics. Now let's move quickly to the functions of statistics. So it simplifies data. How it simplifies data? Because we are drawing here, because we are showing in figures. Indicates future tendency or trend. By this, by the collection of data which is done for statistics, we can know the further trends and further analysis of further tendency also. Future tendency presents data in a suitable manner yes now we can quickly analysis yes this is the population of this india and this was on this year this was the population of india so we can easily okay present data in a suitable manner establish relationship between two or more figures yes uh, like is establishing see first year second year third year so it is making a relationship between figures also guides management now how it guides management if a school in school how many students have get got distinction average and they have failed so it is very easy not only in the schools we can use in our business in our entrepreneurship in our uh, college management in everywhere everywhere this statistics is used for analyzing the results of all students also measures effect of government policy now a government policy is made like to control the poverty they are giving some food some items some homes to live so here what they will do is he, by this data they can understand quickly what is happening in India then we have scope in which which areas the statistics is used for example statistics in administration yes in administration how many like uh, what is the revenue what is the development what is the growth of india then in state how many people are living what is the quality of land in industry also in uh, like how uh, where where the statistics are used first in administration state industry sports maths economic political administration again so guys here all we will use what statistics now let's quickly move to the futures 
Now, what are the futures? It's very easy. Like I have said you first only in meaning only it is analysis data. Yes. Uh, agree of fact. We can see facts also like, yeah, this much is it's increased. This much have decreased numerically expressed. So easily you can understand. Yeah. Okay. 50 percent, 60, 70 like that. Easily we can know collection in a systematic manner. Yeah. Statistics. What it is systematic collection of data. So this year the population was this like they are making the data in a systematic manner. Data should be collected for predetermined purpose. Predetermined means again and again. So new new data is collected and joined with the old data. So they will get whole information about statistics and what they are learning about it. Limitations where the statistics is not able to cope up. First, it consider only qualitative, quantitative data, quantitative size and all so it goes only to there it does not study individual fact a particular person it is not it's a group of people or the group or like group of people is divided the students of one class their results they are showing so this type then it is not exact information sometimes it is not exact information but few times it will be correct also so there is a link statistics can be misused. Yeah, it can be misused in administration, in government policies also. So it can be misused. Statistics can be used only by experts. See guys, for statistics, we have to know for status to become an expert. We have to be specialized in mathematics, specialized in theory subjects and all. So average person, uh, uneducated or uh, like 10 student pass. Now I think they, they will also learn. They are also learning. So an uneducated people can, cannot understand easy, easily because here we have to have some formula, some figures and all. Okay, so this is the drawbacks of limitations of statistics. So this was the explanation of statistics. If you like our channel, then please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to have a thumbs up on this video. So guys, we will be quick to an another video. So bye guys. Thank you for seeing job education. Thank you.